Exactly. It's <laughs> state fair time. You know where we need to go, Michelle? We need to find out where Jackie's at yep. this morning. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Lou and Jackie, or Lou and Jackie, Lou and Michelle and everybody at home. Can you tell it's day seven already? Um, uh, so we've been doing a lot on the Grand Concourse and throughout the various barns that we have here on the fair. We have not been up on top of the hill yet. And I just want to remind everybody, if you get caught up in everything that's happening on the Grand Concourse, don't forget to take the path up the hill because there's some amazing things that you don't want to miss. We have, of course, the Cultural Center uh, that's right across from where I'm looking right now. Lots of projects, so those amazing photography, photos, dollhouse things you want to check out. Also, right next door to that is the Mid-American uh, where they have amazing board of pictures. And these are all pictures that you at home have been posting during the great Iowa State Fair. So when you're out here, just like we were telling you to do for the zoo brew tonight, you want to make sure and tag the Iowa State Fair and you might just see your picture pop up on that big screen. I just tagged something on Twitter. I'm going to see if it pops up here while we're talking. So lots of great reasons to come up. Another great reason is you have free entertainment up here and some amazing new food items. we got to continue to talk about those new food items that are happening. So, of course, we have Drew County joining us with the bird's nest. Always free high fives. Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm dynamite. Good morning, Jack. How are you? I'm good. Uh, so, one new thing is in a liquid form because this is a place where people like to party in the evenings, but it's also a great place to get food no matter what during the day. Absolutely. Yeah. So, our friends out at Barntown Brewery in Waukee did a special pickle beer for us, this, and it's been going great and it's really good. It's probably a little early this morning to try one, but you know. Little early, not going to go there, but we wanted to let you know about it because pickle seems to kind of be the craze right now and you decided to, let's, let's infuse that into a beverage. Absolutely, yeah. And we just kind of have been working on it for the last 10 months or so and they did a great job with it and you know, so it's a pickle pickle juice infused beer and it's really good. Really? Okay. So you might have to check that out, but it's breakfast time. So let's find out some of the other food items. Drew, let's go into the kitchen because I know Gus is working hard here in the kitchen for me as you guys make your way in behind the scenes of the kitchen here at the Bird's Nest. So let's talk about two of the new items you have this year on your menu. Right down here, Chris, if you want to have a look. What do we have? So we have the two new items this year, this is the bacon pancake, or excuse me, this is the duck bacon wonton, which is bacon made from duck, it's cream cheese, sweet corn, a little bit of green onion, and it's got a sweet chili sauce to dip it in. Bacon made from duck. Yes, bacon made from duck. Never had that before. Well, you can have it in a minute. You know? Okay. <laughs> and something a little more breakfasty. A little more breakfasty this year. We're calling, this is a bacon pancake dipper, so that's bacon that is coated in pancake batter put on the griddle and it's served with a little bit of syrup to dip it in. So you're giving uh, people everything they want, whether it's pickles in their beer uh, or bacon made from duck in their wontons or in their pancakes. We're full service operation up here, Jackie. <laughs> we got a little bit of something for everybody. And how are things been going so far? It's been great. Yeah? We've had, it's always great at the fair though, you yeah. know. It is, but you encourage people to come up to the hill. There's free entertainment uh, in the evenings, lots of great music, but you're saying always a great meal that you can enjoy up here as well. Absolutely, that's our whole deal. We pride ourselves on having great food and great entertainment and the best staff on the fairgrounds. Okay, so are you ready for this? I, have you guys at home ever heard about this? Bacon made out of duck. All right, we'll see you. Mmm, that's good. I like that, even for breakfast. <laughs> Gus, my friend, you did good, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. He has a big vat of bacon back there, too, so we might have to go uh, grab some of that as well. Lots of great things happening here at the Great Iowa State Fair. Make sure you make your way up the hill because there's a lot of great things to see there as well. Plus, a couple new fair food items. You know we love to eat here at the fair and have a great time, Drew. Thank you so much. The Bird's Nest is where you need to be, so go check it out today. Reporting live from the Great Iowa State Fair, i got to keep chewing. Jackie Schmell, and we'll be right back with more. You're watching CW Iowa Live. Bacon.